Anytime you walk through a crowd, it's natural to be alert and make sure your wallet or purse is secure. But new technology is making it possible for thieves to steal your information without you ever knowing about it. Our consumer specialist Rick Romero shows you how you can protect yourself against high-tech pickpockets. On the streets, at the airport, even at the mall, thanks to new technology called RFID, you could be the victim of a high-tech pickpocket. People can pickpocket you without even touching it. How? RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. RFID chips and ID badges and credit cards can send out or receive short-range radio signals. The chips are also in all U.S. passports issued since 2006 and in passport ID cards. And RFIDs will soon be used in grocery scanners to lessen line. So if you're going out the checkout line, you don't have to hold this up to a little scanner. It's also in those key fobs you use at the gas station to swipe your information into. But that same helpful technology can also be used to gather information without your knowledge. We're not talking about the kind of thief who lifts your wallet. We're talking about another kind of pickpocket out there. Walt Augustinowitz is with ID Stronghold. His company makes plastic protective sleeves that can keep your information from getting transmitted without your permission. But he says electronic pickpocketing is easily done. Because it's a radio, you just get near someone with one of these readers and you can actually skim off their credit card numbers or expiration dates. Using a $10 credit card reader he bought on eBay, he demonstrates how it could happen. Once skimmed, Augustinowitz says pickpockets can download your sensitive information. But RFID experts say it's not that bad that credit card companies usually flag fraudulent activity and require the security number on credit cards and home addresses as additional safeguards. Now, there is an anti-skimming law in California, which makes the use of these RFID cards for skimming punishable with up to one year in prison, and there's also a fine. But the FTC is still concerned. They say that the unauthorized gathering of information with these cards is an emerging threat. So you've got to protect your information. There's always going to be you know, two sides to this. There's the benefit and then there's the risk. And I think that's the nature of technology. This is Rick Romero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. For more information on how to protect yourself from high-tech pickpockets, you can log on to abc7.com.